Well, Alex Rufa, good to chat to you again about some football. Uh, tell us where you are in terms of your return to play. Look, um, it's yeah, I'm knocking on the door now. Um, I played obviously some minutes for the reserve team last weekend, and I'm feeling really good. I feel strong, and you know now it's just uh, about waiting my waiting for my turn and uh, hopefully getting back in there. How big a milestone was getting back out on the pitch for the uh, for the reserves? Oh, massive. Um, you know, it's been a really really tough year for me. Um, obviously, started the year well and. Obviously had an unfortunate injury, but I've, I've maintained uh, my positivity throughout and, um, you know, just another hurdle that I've jumped over and, yeah, now I'm back and I'm feeling good. Can you just give us a, the exact nature of the in injury and what the rehab and recovery has looked like? So I did my ACL in March and had surgery in April and I was told between nine, and nine months and a year. Um, I think I was pretty lucky that I didn't do any other damage to my knee because I've heard that when you have other damage, it makes it worse. Um, but mentally I was prepared, you know, um, the rehab's been okay, I haven't had any setbacks and um, yeah, I feel pretty blessed with the people that I've had with me working with me and uh, as I said, I've maintained my positivity and yeah, now I'm back and uh, feeling good. So you're actually ahead of schedule, if you say April, what are we now, it's just December. Mm. So what's led to the, um, you know, the speed of your recovery? I think um, positive mind frame and as I said, I was lucky I didn't have any setbacks. Um, I didn't put any pressure on myself to, you know, return by this date or that date. Um, and I've been through a, a long injury process before, um, many years ago, and it was similar. Um, they said it was going to be a year, and I came back after about eight or nine months. So I think po being positive and just coming in every day and just making sure you just keep ticking boxes is a big one. How do you do that, though? Because there must be some darker times, you know, when you think, man, you see the guys going out there and training and playing, and you, you're presumably not doing those things. So how do you stay positive? I think just, just reminding yourself that you are still lucky. You know, there's people worse off than you, and... Um, you know, I always had the end goal of, you know, when I come back, stay back. And I've done it before, so I knew that I would come back and I knew I'd be fine. Um, I'm strong mentally and I'm, I'm strong physically too. And, and now I feel like I'm, I'm just as good a footballer as I was, if not better. So um, I think just taking it day by day and, and just reminding yourself that, you know, there's people out there that are worse off. And, um, you know, I'm, I was still getting paid. I was still lucky enough to come in and see, see my mates every day. And, you know, my family love me. So, yeah, I, f I feel, feel lucky. And when you went back out for a game uh, the other week, any trepidation? Were you 100% were you okay? Yeah, look, I, I, I was positive, um, I was confident. Um, the only thing that was a little bit playing on my mind was just the fact that it was a turf. Um, and obviously it's you know, less forgiving, but I just told myself to just, you know, just be solid, get through the game. Um, you know, I don't mean it disrespectfully, it's not a World Cup final. So just, you know, for me, it was all about confidence, got through it fine. And now it's, you know, now it's the next step and just you know, knocking, knocking down the door. In your experience of, of coming back from injuries before, getting the match fitness back, how long does that typically take? <laughs> it's a good question. I mean, uh, you know, the sooner you're playing, the better. Um, you know, I'm, I'm in terms of training, I'm training every day and I'm fit. Um, you know, I can keep up with the boys, but as you said, you know, game fitness is a lot different and you can only replicate that by playing. So the more minutes I get, the better. As far as watching from the sidelines is concerned, six games for the team so far and of course the World Cup break we've just had. Uh, what did you make of the way the team were playing in the first half a dozen games? Look, I think we had some really good moments. I think lapses of concentration obviously cost us a few big points and a few few results. But, you know, I think we've, you know, throughout the past we've, we've seemed to not start slowly but just have, have that little bit of inconsistent um, results and performances. But, you know, this three-week break's been really good for us. We've worked extremely hard, and I think you know all the lads are ready and um, ready to go. We got Wanderers who are you know second second top, and you know we want to verse the best teams, and I think it's a perfect uh, time for us to you know get the ball get the ball rolling. Yeah, you've been at the club a while now, and players have come, players have gone. Uh, the new players into the team this year, particularly the uh, the imports, they seem to have uh, settled in with smiles on their faces. Uh, have they added to the team culture? Yeah, look, they're all um, great characters. I think you know the first. Thing that the club do when they sign players is make sure they're great characters and you know all three of them or, or the three foreigners are you know great great characters and obviously they're good footballers too and you know Jan's English is getting better um, Oscar loves it here and uh, BK he's a, he's a character I'm sure you've you've seen he he loves it too so now look they're all happy and um, now that they've had this time now to adapt and now well, their families are all here I think um, we're going to see the best uh, versions of them and just finally from me um, one of your former teammates Cam Devlin has now got Lionel Messi's shirt. Yep. I'm not sure if you picked up on that. Did you see that? Yeah, of course I saw it. Um, you know, well done, Cammy. Um, yeah, yeah, look, 
amazing. I uh, was so proud of them to be there and then obviously just to sign it off by getting the Messi shirt, you know. Not many people can say they've got that, can they? So, no, awesome. Have you watched much of the World Cup? Yeah, yeah, I have. Um, my team Switzerland this morning got, got a bit of a battering, so I wasn't happy about that. But um, I think Brazil are looking pretty good. So uh, the boys have loved that we come in every morning and uh, we've been watching the games and now it's been good.